Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 19, and this is war number 12. It's the last war of the season. And you can see the alliance that we're going up against. Uh, I don't know how to read that, uh, but you can see the team I'm going in. This is the team that I am liking for alliance war these days. Uh, I've had pretty good luck with this team. All right, now our basic strategy is we have three or four people go in first. It's first come, first serve, and the rest are on backup. And depending on how that initial team does, some of us on backup might be called in to help out, or we may be called in to explore. In this particular case, uh, Jigner decided uh, that we were going to try and hit up uh, two sections in uh, section one. So he asked me to come in. Uh, they were stopped at a Korg, Mixmaster Korg, and they needed my Omega Red. So they said, go take a path on the right. And uh, so I did that. So first up, you saw the nose we're gonna have to deal with, and we're gonna go up against Abomination who, if you don't have a poison immune champion, can actually wreck you, all right? So I went in with my boy, Warlock. Love me some Warlock, okay? So you can see here, uh, we're having to deal with the stubborn global, which is so annoying, because my natural way of playing is to do a lot of evading. And I'm now being punished for that. It's just one of the many things that I don't like about what they've done with these nodes, all right? But I understand that is something that they're doing on purpose. They wanna shake things up. They want people to get out of their comfort zone, fight differently than they're used to. A lot of people love that. It adds some spice to the uh, wars, uh, and I understand that. For me, keep in mind that I have grinded arena for almost four years, and I have a very high tolerance for repetitive actions. A friend of mine actually said that about me, uh, and it was very accurate. So if war didn't change, I'd be perfectly fine. But I know a lot of people would get bored. A lot of people don't like, uh, you know, arena because they get bored. I don't get bored, not that easily. All right, so here we go. We're fighting Sentinel. And with Sentinel, you want to do a medium light medium attack if you can. Uh, because that's going to reduce his analysis charges gain. All right. So you see, I'm I'm basically blocking uh, a lot more instead of evading like I normally would. I'm just taking a lot of block damage because that seems to be an easier way to deal with this. Okay. So you see here, I'm just blocking it. You know, I hate that because you know you take that block damage, but it is what it is. All right. So you see here. You know, we're just chipping him away. Now he's running suicides, uh, so that helps out a little bit. You see the recoil damage that we're taking. So it made this fight a little bit easier uh, than it would have been ordinarily. So uh, coming up next after this fight, you're going to see me take on a Korg, and it's going to be somewhat of a rematch. Uh, if you watched one of my previous wars, you know that I got wrecked the first time I went in there. Now, how that happened, don't ask. I don't know. It's whatever. Okay. Um, but we got him down. And next up, we got to deal with that Korg. I was pretty sure, even though Jigner didn't say uh, that they wanted me to fight that Korg, when he said, we need your Omega Red, and I looked, I'm like, okay, he needs me to fight that Korg. Now, normally, I do fine fighting Korg. Uh, I'm the designated Korg killer. Uh, in my battle group. But this Korg, with stubborn defense tactic and on Mixmaster, I just don't like it. There's too much going on. And you've got the Oscillate, you know, so he's going to be more passive some of the time. And then you've got Aggression. It, it's just annoying, okay? But Omega Red is actually a good counter for this Korg on this node, even with Stubborn. You just have to fight a certain way. All right, so I'm going in here and I'm just like, man, you know, I'm a little tired because uh, this is just before I was going to bed. 
And uh, normally I don't fight when I'm just about to go to bed. But uh, I said, all right, let me let me go ahead and do this. Uh, I have, as you can see, I'm capped out on a lot of these uh, boosts. And sometimes they expire on me. So I'm like, let me just go ahead and use these up. Okay. So we went ahead and did that. And now I'm going back. It always times out on me. Uh, and I'm going to use up one of the three minute boosts. We're going to hit up that uh, invulnerability boost. Why? Because as you see, I was capped out. Uh, it actually came into the store. And I haven't claimed my compensation yet. And it has invulnerability boosts in it as well. So I'm like, this is the last war of the season, all right? So my plan here is to try to um, block as much as possible and fire off my heavies to get those spores on. You see here, right off the bat, lost all the indestructible, uh, the invulnerability charges. And I'm just like, man, I hate this cord, okay? But it's really me. I have to learn how to fight him. Okay, so you see here, we got the indestructible again. So not much to do. Got that oscillate uh, kicking in, which is why he's just backing up. And I hate that with a passion. All right, there we go. Evaded that one. All right, um, did that, but I don't know if that mattered. Okay, and then he's unblockable, unstoppable because I evaded. Uh, and then we've got Mixmaster. So he evades uh, because I lost track of... You know, what was the last attack I did? Was it the same as this one? All right, and that's what happened. You get all out of uh, whack. Okay, so here we go. We got the shield down. So I'm gonna fire off my special three and do some damage, you know? But at this point, I'm just like, man, can I make a comeback? You know, I'll be singing that. Don't call it a comeback if I were able to make a comeback here. Okay, see, so here we go. We got that indestructible again and here we go, all right? But see, what you saw me doing there, I was discombobulated. Yes, I use that word, discombobulated, because I wasn't sure what attack I needed to use at that point so that it wasn't the same as the last attack so he wouldn't get a passive evade. So we got wrecked, but I'm sitting here looking at him and I'm just like, no, I'm not going out like that. You know, this is the last war of the season, I don't care. Uh, I looked and I'm just like, you know what? Let me just practice on him, okay? Um, if I die several times, so what? I need to practice this fight. And this is the only time I'm gonna get a chance to practice it. So I went ahead and I looked and I'm just like, man, I was trying to rush because I'm like, okay, let me heal up real quick. I'll still have the invulnerability boost on, but I didn't have that big boost because I hadn't claimed yet. And I'm just like, oh man, okay, we've got the uh, invulnerability going, but who cares? I didn't have enough uh, health potions and I knew by the time I bought all the health potions and everything, it'd be over with. But I'm like, you know what? I'll just pop another invulnerability boost in and not worry about it. And you can see here, I'm looking over this and I'm just like, man, you know, they want units. I'm not spending my units. Uh, for this so I'm looking over here. I'm like, okay for glory You know, um, I, I have a lot of glory and so I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and uh, you know get a couple of these so um, I think I did buy these I Was thinking about it as you can see here. I'm like do I want to do that because they don't give you that much health and I'm just like, you know what? Uh, let's just go ahead with what we got and uh, get some practice in. All right, so, um, and I knew that the invulnerability boost by this time was gone. And I'm like, you know what? If we're able to do at least as well as we did in that first round, we should be able to get them, okay? Not even half of my health back, okay? But it's all good. And I'm just like, you know what? I will just keep going uh, and and uh, heal up if I can. Uh, if I needed to get, you know, a couple more, maybe I'll do that as well, you know? So we went ahead and popped another invulnerability boost. Uh, and like I said, we have them uh, and we will still be capped out. Even after the season's over, we're still going to be capped out. 
All right, so this time I'm just like, okay, we're gonna block and I'm doing, you know, I tried to do medium like medium, but I got wrecked again in the beginning. And I'm just like, no, now I'm upset. Now I'm mad. I'm like, no, I am not going out like that again. So I'm focused and I'm angry. Okay, lost all my invulnerability charges just like the first time. And I'm like, this is not going to be like the first one. Okay, so you see here, I'm doing this again. Medium, light, medium. Shattered his shield. Medium, light, medium. Fire off my special two. Boom. Now I'm running suicides, so I'm watching my health. All right, and now you see I'm doing medium, light, medium. Blocking, medium, light, medium. He fired that off. Great. Boom. Indestructible. You know, I can't do any damage, but I blocked it. Medium, light, medium. Block. Medium, light, medium. All right. He fired it off again. Got the indestructible again. All right. So now I'm just like, man, can I take the block damage? We blocked him. Medium, light, medium. Fire off another special two. Boom. Core goes down. Tell me that wasn't clutch. I got it finally towards the end. Now, I got super focused and super pissed at, you know, what looked like it was going to be a repeat of the first one. But this time, we got him down. All right. So now I'm like, OK, I'm definitely not taking on that uh, uh, that Killmonger. But I wanted to look and see what we had there. And I'm looking over this and I'm just like, yeah, no, we're not doing that. Um, and I don't believe that Jigner was planning on taking that middle section anyway. Uh, we usually do one or two sections in section one and then one section in section two. Uh, so I looked over here and I'm just like, OK, let me head out over uh, to the left. You know, so I, I looked at this uh, doom and I'm like, OK, OK, um, maybe I can get some practice in uh, with doom uh, fighting him with my Nick Fury. OK, so I went and ran out of energy. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I waited a little bit and uh, didn't know if anybody was going to take that doom. So I came back and uh, looked, and sure enough, somebody had already grabbed that doom. Hey, no problem, no problem. So I went ahead and uh, looked around, and I'm like, okay, they cleared out that entire section. All right, so where we're up to, we're already up to the minis. And I'm like, oh, OK, well, I see that they're getting a little stuck over there, but we still have people to join. So I wasn't too worried about them. And I said, let me fight this Sorceress Supreme because I don't think I've fought her in war before. All right. We got Rage. Uh, now, with Rage, I'm figuring that Nick Fury should do well because I'll just do a lot of bleed. So I want to slow play it and bleed. Uh, so. I'm going to, you know, use some uh, boosts up again, you know, may as well. Uh, got got plenty of them. And even uh, now they are capped out because I had a bunch of them in my overflow. OK, and since I'm going to take Nick Fury in, you see, I was boosting up with the uh, skill. OK, and then I was looking over here and I'm just like, OK, you know what? Let's just use that one because it's capped. And I always see them in the loyalty store. And I never uh, use them. And uh, this one, I went ahead and did the 20% uh, even though the other one was capped out just because. And then uh, we went ahead and used one of those. And we'll get restocked uh, very quickly uh, on those. Now, this one here, I was like, okay, use another invulnerability boost. But I do use a different one later on. Uh, and you'll see that. Uh, and you'll see why I use that one as well. All right, so we're going in with Nick Fury, and I really like Nick Fury. Uh, I have not uh, gotten really good with him, but here we go. And you see this? I'm doing a medium and then a heavy, okay? Uh, medium, heavy, uh, so that it's quicker for me to get that one, um, I think it's that open wound or whatever uh, of his, so that I can do a little bit of extra damage, okay? And now that I got that up, I'm just doing uh, combos with a uh, light ending uh, combos uh, to put that big boy damage on her. Okay, and you see here, fire off that special two, boom. All right, and look at this. All right, woohoo! Easy to evade, no problem. And just look, I'm staying away from her, and she's just getting eaten up by his uh, bleed. 
Look at this. I'm just going to try and fire that off. Never made it. Nick Fury is a beast. And this is not even the, the real Nick Fury. Okay. So down goes Sorcerer Supreme. Uh, no problems there. I was not messing with that Korg. That Korg is actually really good placement, by the way. Um, but now we're going to fight Doom. And, you know, I didn't get a chance to fight that other Doom. So I'm like, all right, Hurt Locker, not too much of a problem, except that I sometimes forget and fire the same special off. But I wanted to use up that invulnerability. All right, so here we go. And now that caught me because I was trying to do the medium and then the heavy like I was doing on the other uh, Sorcerer Supreme fight. But that didn't work. So I'm like, okay, boom. He had the uh, shock on me and pimp slapped me. I'm like, okay, all right. So here we go. And I was a little discombobulated, which is why I got caught by that uh, shock. And I'm just like, man. I played this one all wrong. All right, so you see I evaded that one, but, you know, thanks to the uh, stubborn, we couldn't uh, capitalize on it, but we, we got it. Now we're going to fire off this uh, special. And uh, it's not doing a whole lot of damage. Uh, Doom, if I remember correctly, is shock immune, but he's not bleed immune. So we got that bleed on him, and you look at that bleed is doing some good work. All right, but the indestructible kind of cut it short. Uh, so I needed to not evade, but like I told you earlier, I just do it by reflex. It's how I've trained myself. And that's why I really hate that stubborn. All right, so there we go. And now we got to block an attack or parry, but you see I had that shock on me. So now the real Nick Fury is out, okay? All right, so now we're, we're like, okay, we got to get, uh, got to block him. There we go. Get that uh, out. And I'm like, okay, this is going to be a pain. One, two. And still got KO'd. And I've evaded that before. So probably should have just tried to um, block it. I wasn't sure if I was going to survive uh, getting all that blocked uh, damage. So now I'm staring at him. And I'm just like fuming. I'm like, oh, you know what? We're not going out like that. Something about me. I get ticked when I lose a battle and I don't run away. I run towards the battle. I will sit here and item out to get down my opponent when I'm upset. All right. So I'm looking over here and I'm eyeing those uh, revives and, and the health potions. And I'm just like, OK, let's get a nice little revive going. And now I'm thinking, have I used enough so that I don't have a bunch of these going to be in my overflow if I collect the uh, compensation? All right. So you see that I had a level four uh, health potion and uh, use that one up. And I'm still thinking, I'm thinking, I'm like, OK, you know what? Let me check something. All right. Because. I don't remember what all was in the compensation uh, reward that we got, you know, which of the three minute boosts we got. So you see here, I, I have tons of stuff expiring all the time. All right. You see there. All right. So I have those in my overflow. I think at this time I did uh, collect the compensation. Uh, so I was looking to see which ones I have left. And I'm like, OK, I want to use one of those before they expire. You know, I'm not using them at any point uh, during the off season, more than likely. Uh, so I'm like, OK, I know which ones. And I think I'll use that. I think one of them was the combat regen. So after looking at that one, I said, all right, let's go ahead and uh, use that one up here. Uh, and I believe. Yeah. Yep. I use the uh, combat regen. So uh, that works out pretty well with, with Nick Fury. And so now I'm going back in there against this Doom. Okay, no invulnerability this time. All right, so here we go. Ending with those light attacks. Putting in that big boy bleed damage, as you can see. Okay, and uh, now we need to uh, bait that special one out. We got a little bit more damage in there. Okay, boom. And here we go. And of course, that's going to trigger uh, the stubborn. But that took it away 
And now I don't want to fire the special two off because he has that aura up. And now he has it up again. Okay. So now I'm just like, okay, let's, uh, we got rid of that one. And we're just waiting for the aura to go down. And then that messed me up right there. That lost me the fight. Okay. Uh, now, what I was doing, uh, at any other time, this move works. But I think I can no longer do it. I was trying to bait him into attacking me. Then I would do a dash back and fire my special off immediately. Somewhat of an uh, intercept. But I either mistimed it or he reacted faster than I was expecting. But that lost me that match. I had him. All right. I was baiting out, waiting out the uh, uh, aura. And I just needed to fire off that special. And it would have taken him down. But messed up. But I'm just like, all right, whatever. Let's go in and finish him off. We still will at least have... Uh, an attack bonus left okay so there we go and he's down so close all right but wasn't a big deal uh going into this war we were pretty sure that we were going to end in goal one uh whether we won this uh fight or not uh we're pretty solid in goal one and i was not gonna mess with this vision arcus warlock would have done okay but with that power gain, I really feel like we need more of a power control champion to face this Arcus on this node. All right. But that's it for my participation. And we'll be back to find out how we did in this war. And we're back. And unfortunately, we lost this war. But like I said, I believe we're solidly in goal one. And you can see we did not get down all three of our bosses. And I have a feeling that it was my battle group uh, that didn't get their boss down. But I'm not sure uh, on that. I was actually live streaming when this war ended. And when I went over there, I noticed that uh, they were asking me uh, if I wanted to try my warlock against the uh, Vision Arcus there. So I don't know whether they ever got that Vision Arcus down whether we got the boss down, um, but it doesn't look like we did. All right, let's uh, take a look here. All right, and we go down here so we can see the MVPs. So that's going to do it. That's the end of the season. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure we got goal one, which is perfectly fine. Uh, there's not a lot of difference between goal one rewards and uh, uh, platinum four rewards. Uh, let's take a look real quick here. Um, hold on. Uh, doo -doo -doo, season. Yeah, this is where we're at right now. And let's take a look here at the rewards. No need to look at the master rewards. Um, but there's the platinums. All right, so we're in goal one right now. All right, so you can see here uh, platinum four. If we fought hard and, and all that, we would have gotten a T5 basic and, you know, a few more five-star shards and about double the six-star shards. That's, that's nice. And if we can get it, that's great. But we get uh, these six-star shards and um, even though we didn't get a full T5 basic, look at the number of tier five uh, fragments that we're getting. It's almost a full one already and almost guaranteed that's going to um, give me another uh, tier five uh, basic. All right. So not a lot of difference in the rewards. And I actually need a tier four class catalyst. So I'm happy to see those uh, there. All right. But that's surprise. The rewards came out before the video went live, so I'm including this so you guys can see how we did uh, for the season. Pretty sure I know how we did, but let's open this up. And from the rewards, you can already tell, but let's scroll down here. And we ended with goal one, rank 211. Uh, that's pretty much what we uh, suspected. We may go for uh, platinum uh, next season, uh, but we'll see.
we'll see all right so claiming that and as i told you guys i formed that catalyst so that's going to do it guys thank you all for watching click like subscribe leave a comment let me know what you thought about the video and you all have a blessed day